hey hey welcome back to my channel if you know him i'm silky now if you do th thanks for coming now don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so anytime i do new upload you'll be first person to know now we are here you guys with this unit okay i don't know if you guys think this is nice i don't know if you guys like curly hair if you like a line bobs i don't know what you guys like but it looks really good on me um so if you guys really really want to see what this wig is and where it comes from and you want to see this install yes you i'm talking to you if you want to see this install stay tuned keep on watching let's get straight into this video All right, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, you guys already seen the title below, but we are here. Yes, I hope you guys like my little decorations. Yes, I'm not a really, really colorful person when it comes down to decor, but clothes, I am a very colorful person. But yeah, this is my little decorations for Christmas. Really cute, right? Let me scoot it in some more. Really cute, right? really cute i like it do you like it let me know if you like it all right so let's go ahead and get into this video so we're going to do a amazon wig i'm going to leave everything right up here okay and yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it it's already out the package because i did bleach the knots and i did wash and condition her she's actually hanging right here so let's go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and prep my hair and i'm gonna come back and then show you guys the well, we'll show the wig right now. So let's go ahead and show you the wig. Hold on, let me take her off this mannequin. All right, you guys. So this is the Amazon wig right here, you guys. This is what she's looking like. This is how pretty she's looking, you guys. Like, oh my, look at her. She's cute. Nice and full. This is, um, I believe, a, a 12 inch. It's a 12 inch or either 14 inch. Again, the information will be right there and down below. So that's what she looks like you guys that's what the curls are looking like really really pretty as you can see and she's a full all right and then this is the front it is a four by four closure or part closure part yeah and then that's what the what it looks like and then the inside you have two combs at the temple and then you have one comb at the nape and again that's what the curls look like from the bottom like when you hold it upside down really cute really pretty you guys i love it um so i like i said so like i said i did bleach a knot so that's what it's looking like um if you guys want a video on me bleaching knots and preparing the wig before install let me know okay let me know so i feel like um I need to continue my wig journey and this hair is um human hair it is 100 percent human hair um it's just beautiful you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and come go off camera prep my hair because i did rinse my hair out it was really really like uh, it had so much product in it so i had to rinse it out because i had a, a pie bun so i'm gonna go ahead and go off camera rinse it out and come back and install with you guys all right you guys so i went ahead and i combed all my hair out i brushed and combed my hair out I put on a cap I put some makeup on her and I went ahead and I did my sideburns the way I like and I didn't you know since the weight loss surgery my hair has gotten so thin you guys I used to have really really thick hair but my hair is not as thick as um, it used to be so it's even more easier <laughs> I'm gonna cry but it's even more easier to put my hair up and away um, for an install because clearly um yeah my hair is like thinning really it's really thinning it still has the length but it's really thinning like my hair is still like down here but it's it's thinning so I'm, i do have a video coming for you guys for that weight loss journey i just want to do a full six months or seven months or eight months and then come back and give you guys my whole experience so that's what that's about but here nor there so um a few things that you do need is a spray water bottle because the hair is curly you need a brush you need a edge brush a um, white tooth comb a big comb 
you also need rat tail comb just this and the product for today's video is olive era you guys know i really love these products these are like some of my go-to products so this first one is the ors olive oil fix it for wigs and weave super hold wig grip spray and it does have castor oil in it you guys you guys can get this at walmart um cvs walgreens um things like that all right and this one is the new look ors Oliveira fix it wigs and weave super hold wig grip gel so this one is the gel and it also has the castor oil in it and all those other ingredients the same as the spray and this one is the ors olive oil it is a heat defense and shine mist it has grapeseed oil um it protects your hair from heat and the smell is amazing i um like i said it's for it's a heat protectant and a gloss so i like to use it to make my hair shiny when i feel like it's nice when it's dull okay so yeah those are the items we're going to use today and just if you guys really want to know i did um smooth my hair down with the 24 hour edge tamer this is my favorite you guys and i also use their hold on let me grab it for you hold on and I also use a 24 hour edge tamer wax slick stick. I like this too to get all the flyaways down. So that works also. All right, you guys, again, here's the wig. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's put it on. Let's do that. Um, I like to put it on from the back and put it on like this and put it under the hair, under everything. And if you want to, you can use that comb back there to secure that back there. And then we're going to go in and adjust her. So, so far she's looking good. She's looking good so far. She's looking good. <laughs> so, um, this is where you go in and you fix it and adjust it to your head the way you like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some makeup on the inside. I feel like it's not the color I like for it to be. So, I'm going to put a little bit of powder. You can use a concealer if you want to. But I like to go in with my color that I bronze my face up with so that's what I'm gonna do for me I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury this is in the shade deep I believe yes this is the shade deep so like use your bronzer it works really good for for me for the edges and you can also put it all over the lace it's up to you it's up to you baby you only need to put it where you know people can see but for you know the video I'm gonna put it all over the lace like people usually do just gonna go ahead and rub it in that lace just like that all over really saturate it but not too much because you don't want to make the lace change drastically that's what we don't want what's wrong baby pick up all this paper for me because it is giving me anxiety all right so that's what it looked like after I let's say tinted the lace okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also gonna put a little powder on here to set that cream in because it often works for me so I want to set that cream in you guys see I have it far back a little bit because I'm not gonna I'm not about to um, you know put the cap on there as you would when you're doing a, a, a install you know well this is an install but you know what I mean see you see how the period <laughs> okay it looks good right it looks good all right, so now I'm going to use the wig grip to do my baby hair. Yes, I am. That's what I do. That's what I like to do. I know people like the soft baby hairs, but I'm just going to go in with the wig grip to do my baby hair. So I can get those out of the way. And this wig grip is like really thick, really, really thick. I had already had my baby hairs cut out into place. And I'm just going to go ahead and start laying them and I'm not going to um, aggressively lay the baby hair because I still want it to have like a little um, you know natural more natural look to it and you can always go in and cut if need be Ooh, this stuff is sticky, but it, it runs down. Hold on, let me 
Let me go ahead and get some on the other side because it's running. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll take two, actually. Please, thanks. And yeah, so we're gonna push these hairs back. Okay, and then go in here and get these hairs, big hairs, pop in. And when I do mine, I like to make sure that um, I'm actually, you know, getting all on that lace as good as possible because it, it helps when you do it that way. And then you blend the rest into the rest of the wig. So, like, if your hair blows in the wind, you won't see nothing. Okay. Okay. And like, yeah, that's the baby hair. Period. It don't have to be super perfect. It just needs to be. So yeah. That's what I use that for and to push all of this back. And you can also put some up in here to flatten that out. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go in with the um wig grip spray. And I'm going to spray the rest of that lace okay I'm gonna push it in because when you use this product and you touch it it doesn't turn white I've used the spray before but I haven't used the um, the gel so that's my first time using the gel and I'm gonna spray that middle part too and yeah like that so now at this point you guys want to go ahead and go in with the band you can make your own bands you can get it from Walmart you can get it from um, arts and crafts store Michaels uh, things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this band on I pulled my hair back this is what my baby hair is looking like I think it looks natural I want it to look natural I don't want it to look all like I tried to perfect baby hair that's not something I like to do I like them to look a little bit offset a little bit different if that makes any sense it works better for me it looks good to me but everybody's different everybody likes their baby hair done a different way which you know that's fine and I'm gonna take and brush this rest of this back away from the baby hair okay cuz that's the look I'm going for okay <laughs> That. and when I feel like um, my lace is showing parts where I don't want it to show I go in with a little black mascara and I kind of camouflage it because sometimes the corners of those um, 4x4s and 5x5s can be like showing it's like Ugh, it looks weird you know so that's what I do alright so let's go ahead and go in with this band because we're gonna melt her in one more time. So I'm gonna put the band on. Ah, be careful for the baby hairs in the back because they will get stuck in the band. Okay. All right. So at this point, you can go in with your concealer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I want her to be out in full like this, or if I want to wet her. You can also cut and shape it the way you want i kind of feel like the front a little bit is just a little bit too um too long i don't know why it seems like it's really really long at the front but let's just go ahead and wet her down you can also go in with a curling cluster that's what i use on my curls i like to go in with a curling cluster and you could just run your fingers through it or use a comb. Like at this point, I can run my fingers through it because I had already did a wash and a comb to, you know, make sure there's no tangles and things like that. So I've already done that. I'm just gonna run my fingers through it at this point. And if I feel like I need a, a brush or comb, I will do that. I just did a beautiful install last night, you guys. I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. Your girl's getting there. Eventually, I'll end up starting to record my um, installs and stuff like that. 
on my customers. You want to really wet her down and just go in there and just start defining those curls. And just, you know, pulling at that hair. And make sure you get under too. Get all of it. You guys see? It's a pretty nice wig, okay, for the price. Especially if you're not a person that like a lot of hair. Like, it's a pretty nice wig. And that's the shedding right there. Okay, hair is going to shed. Not This one didn't shed a lot, but hair, hair is going to shed some, you know. It's not going to not shed. So, that's what that side looks like, you guys. Let me see. Probably show you guys a close-up. That's what she looks like. Really pretty. More like a water wave to me almost. In between like a curly and water wave. It's more curly toward the end. And then it gets more um, like a water wave as it goes up the hair. Which I really like. So it goes from this, which is cute too, to this. So yeah, that's what you're going to keep doing it until you get it the way, you know, that you like your hair to be. So just keep on... Um, moisturizing the hair because that's what you just keep on moisturizing the hair because that's what you're basically doing you're moisturizing the hair and remember the hair is going to dry up no matter what you do like it's going to dry and the texture is going to change because hair is different when it's moisturized or when it's wet versus when it's dry so just keep that in mind please but you can um go in when you do an oil on curly hair it kind of tames the flyaways and it make it not get so poofy so keep that in mind too that also works it works for me so if it works for me it should work for you all right so i'm gonna go back in with that spray and i'm gonna spray that top half and smooth it out so that it will be a flat surface at the top okay you can also use those sprays for hairspray too I wouldn't recommend it using on your, you know, on your regular hair a lot. But just, you know, just a few spritz. Nothing heavy that makes any sense. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with that shine. Heat protect it. Protect my hair from the sun. <laughs> and I'm just going to go throughout the hair and just generously spray her. Okay. And rub her through. That's what I'm doing. Just rubbing it through. You can also go in with some conditioner or gel. Okay, at this point, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go on my Eco Style um, Professional Styling Gel. This was the olive, olive oil. Again, I love olive oil. Like, it does such a... Okay, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to take about this much, okay, you guys? Um, olive oil is something that my family use on the babies when they're growing up all over the skin all over the hair oh my god it's so beautiful you guys like it makes such a beautiful like oh it makes your skin so beautiful and as you grow up it just gets more and more and more beautiful so uh, keep that in mind so if you have a baby put olive oil all over your baby take care of the skin okay like my kids skin is so much more beautiful than mine because i was like consistently using it i didn't use baby oil and stuff like that i use olive oil and vitamin e on their skin and when i tell you their skin's gorgeous like and it's like the more kids you have the better you are at being a parent so my youngest his skin is just oh amazing <laughs> so yeah this is something you guys might want to try out or know all right so really focus the gel if you want this hair to stay like this on the ends Okay, because I've noticed that as I'm sitting here, the hair is getting dry. So I really focus that gel on the ends of the hair and the areas where it feels really dry at, okay? And then just run your fingers through her. And if you need to put more gloss, go ahead. It's to your preference, honey. And I'm going to put a little bit up here so I can keep this little humpy hump down. 
think I need to put, put the hair form back this way. That's where she wants to go. So, yeah. Just like that. Alright, she's looking good to me. And it's going to get um, a little poofy because I didn't put the gel throughout and under and in the hair. I just put it on, you know, like the surface. So, yeah. So, she does have some shedding. So, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Please do. I don't want you guys to come and say, hey, Silky, this this hair shed. You never said it did. I did say that it sheds a little bit. It doesn't shed like, oh my God. You know, but it sheds as you comb it like natural hair would. Like natural, again, like natural hair would shed, okay? All right. So, yeah. This is what it's looking like, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do some makeup and make my face look gorge. And I'm going to come back and give you guys my final look and final thoughts. All right, my pretty. So I am back. This is the whole install, you guys. This is what it looks like with a full, like a kind of a full beat. Not a beat, full, full, full beat. Not like some super over glam. This is like just a natural look to go with the unit, you guys. I did, um, as I was doing my makeup and throughout a little bit of the day, it did dry. This is what it looks like after it dried down. Um, so, but before I like, let me just go in with like a little water because, um, I feel like it does dry down quite a bit. The water does like go into the hair quite quickly. It does suck it up, but I say put a little mist on her, um, and you don't have to run your fingers through it. Just kind of like push the liquid into the hair. Um, I think if I had to say anything bad about it, it's just that this hair really sucks up water, but it looks really pretty, nevertheless, okay? Like, it, she's really, really pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I like it. Again, I did leave, I am going to leave all the information down below on this unit. This is what it's looking like. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see how that lace is looking. This is how the lace is looking, you guys. I think it's really, really pretty. I think, to me, it looks natural. I kind of brushed my baby hairs out a bit once they did dry down so I get more of a natural look. You can do that. The more you brush them out, they're going to stay in place, but the more you brush them out, the more natural your look would be, which is nice, you know. I've never tried it on myself, but I've tried it on my clients. Um, But, yeah, she looks really cute to me. I am loving her she's really pretty so basically just leave some hearts down below if you guys really like this unit and if you're going to purchase this unit please tag me after you put it on or get it installed and if you're in my area and you actually buy this unit i will install it for you so yeah keep that in mind but i think the experience was good i've been wearing her for about four hours and i didn't went out and i got a couple compliments and i think it's cute y'all Okay, but again, she just needs some moisture. So I say when you wash her, really deep condition her or get that silicone, um, I believe that silicone, I forget what it's called, some kind of silicone base to put on the hair to make the hair come back to life. I think that would do this hair some justice. But nevertheless, I think I look really great. So if you would, like I said, if you really like this unit, leave a comment down below or just hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys did love it, just, again, give me lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of likes, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. I hope it was helpful. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.